going on well my name is Kazma and welcome to Predis the big bad show taking over your television screens right now we're coming to you guys from Portmore the sunshine city and a beer vibes hey man I'm just chilling on the toll road right now you know so let's get into Predis it starts right now Reggae artist Protégé recently launched his album The Seven Year Itch and trust me you guys ready for this Kimani Mali teamed up with the man and they shot the video for Rasta Love big things right there so Protégé going levels crazy things so right now no, we're gonna catch up with the money you know, because he's going to talk to us about his album you know his current projects what going on the man musical career his life let's check out protege talk to it pretty to tell him she was in love with the rasta man fire was so protege we're here with you on the set of your video shoot for rasta love talk to us about this particular track and how the collaboration with kimani came about well, um, Dan went to Cali and I think um, through some mutual friends um, met up with Kimani and um, you know, decided to, for, you know, made, made, told him about the song that was work, we're working on and you know, he was down to do it and he said, you know, no problem and um, he just went to studio and recorded it. I wasn't around, I was in Canada at the time and um, I heard the song the same day they recorded it, Dan put it out on radio and I mean, it's just been bubbling since. Well, Rasta equal love still. So it's like, you know, it's almost <laughs> repetitive because, but um, the whole concept of this song is um, about a young lady trying to find herself and find her spirituality and through the, the, the vessel of Rasta and, um, and, uh, and about the, the, the hardship she faced and the, the, you know, problem with her parents and her father about it and I mean many many people who, who go that route you know face those type of things so this is about just a female and empowering herself and freedom of expression. This first album is very introspective it's very much about my life and how I've seen it and the experiences that I've encountered so it's just expression the, 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 the music you know when it's real when it's soul music you know you're expressing what affects you and what moves you so that's what I try to keep in my music, you know, make it personal, you know. Yeah. What separates you from the pack? I mean, what differentiates you? What are you bringing to the table? <laughs> I mean, that's for people to decide, you know, but I think what, what differentiates me is that being myself. If you're being yourself, it, you have to, you know what I mean? It's going to be different because it's authentic to you. So, I mean... It's up to people. I just try to, 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 to put a certain flavor in my music and my background is hip hop, dancehall, reggae and dub and rock. And I just I'm not shy to express all of those genres. If I feel to play rock I go into that or dub or and they just kinda merge and, and form this style. Long the minute being your mother helped has it been a good thing for you, a blessing or a bad thing? How has it helped you to get through the doors? No, well, she being my mother could never be a bad thing, you know. It's definitely a blessing, and I mean, it 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 has helped in the in the way that it it has at least maybe it let somebody listen to me then and say, all right, let me hear him, cause you know, he's second generation, and um, so it has helped in that. But but the way it has helped me, you know, is just that her understanding of the music and not um even when five years nothing wasn't going on, she never give up on me, you know what I mean? So. So, and just to, to see what she went through and to, to learn about the business of it, you know, is where I would say that I have benefited the most. And, and my singing, I couldn't, when I, when I went to the arguments, I'd never brought her to studio with me, ever. And I was like, you know, mommy, come, come, come to studio and check this out, now. and arguments came out of it. What kind of advice has she passed on to you about the industry? Just be careful and be patient and remain humble and, and, um... Read the fine print and, you know, just, just basically to stay humble and, and stay true to the music and don't get carried away by all of the trimmings of everything else. So. Hey, yo, it's now time for a Rough Rider Safe Sex Tip of the Week. And this week, you know, it's going to be coming to us from the lovely, the beautiful, the talented Itana. Yes, she's going to be talking to us about safe sex and, you know, the possibilities of catching STDs. Now, listen up to Itana. Pre this. My safe sex tip for the day or for the week or for the rest of your life is 
after dating somebody for like a year or even six months, you figure, okay, I'm going to stop using condoms now because I'm see him I get sick or I'm going to see him with no breakout or I'm going to see him with nothing or I'm going to see she with nothing so she good. And then maybe I, six months later or a year later, find out that you have herpes, AIDS, or find out that this person has been unfaithful and you, have got, you, you get gonorrhea or some other thing. I think to me, always use a condom and then on top of all of that if you decide to get deeper into this relationship get tested for aids and other things that way you can be sure that okay when we're ready to have kids i can safely have sex with this person and i have to worry about anything always 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 wear a condom and don't be afraid to get a hiv test i did it and i do it ever so often every other year i get a hiv test be always on the safe side Yo, honestly, you know, that's a lot of walking for me in one day, you know, this tour road thing, you know, but all right, reach Portmore, we we'll find out what they know, so Portmore Mall is to that way. So guess what, we have a list of events coming up for you guys, but trust me, you have to check out Footloose, it's going to be taking place February 12th at the Sajikor parking lot in New Kingston, Saturday, February 12th, Footloose. Now, check out the rest of the previous list of events and the events calendar, watch it. Party like it's your birthday, like it's your birthday. You're a superstar, so you're a superstar. Party like it's your birthday, girl. Your birthday, girl. You're a superstar, yeah. That's who you are. Well, it's a birthday, girl, and I know for do your thing, you're shining and glistening. You got the man I'm whistling when you're passing, girl. Your body does a swing like doom, doom, doom. Emergency vehicles only. See, I can't read. What are you talking about? But right now, we're going to take a short commercial break. Not that short commercial break, but a short one. So stick with us right here to pre this. We'll soon come back.